So now you can go into plan review to start your project. It'll ask you to log in. So once you're in the plan review page, you want to click on create an application. It'll give you a little uh, tidbit of how to use it, what to look for, and then it gives you the email addresses of the places you want to contact if you have questions, comments, concerns, complaints. Another user or use notification, terms and conditions. You can read that at your leisure and continue application. So this is step one of the plan review process. You want to put in the facility name, so it'll be the location where the project's going to be. So we'll just use Bureau of Fire Services. There you go. Then you want to give a slight detailed description of what exactly you're doing in the project. So if you're adding new, you know, a new wall or taking down a wall or doing any additions, modifications, you want to put it in there. Um, so that way we can you know what we're looking for. Then you want to put the location of the facility of where the work is going to be done. And a lot of times if you just put in the zip code after the street number and name, it'll automatically bring up the city and the county and the township. Ta -da. So then when you get to applicant, which is the person that you want to receive the correspondence for the project, you hit select the account. And your information that you put in previously should automatically generate. So then you just hit continue. Oh. All right, so we can, let's see if this works. Just add an additional one. There we go. All right. So this we really don't need to worry about unless you really want that information in there. Continue application. making something up at this point. <laughs> okay. So this is where you want to put the application information as far as who you want the, app, the, the plan review to go to. So if you're looking for the Bureau of Fire Services, you can just click Bureau of Fire Services plan review. Or if you need to submit to the construction codes or HFES, you can also click these as well and they'll generate project numbers for you there as well. But 
for sake of not being able to delete those ones, I'm just going to select Fire Services Plane Review. And here, this is where you put the estimated capital expenditure. This you need to put in. It is required. Otherwise, it's not going to let you submit your, your project. So we'll just put... Hundred and twenty thousand, and right here is where you can say if you're going to pay with credit card, electronic check, or paper check. I'm just going to put paper check so that way I can go through later. Then you want to continue the application. going to ask you to review all the information and if you need to make any edits this is where you can do so. So once you've looked through it you can say continue application. So then you want to this is the project that we're working on so you want to click open And already generated the estimated cost that you put in. And this is where you put in the facility information as far as the type. So we're going to call this a, we'll call this a hospital. And then you want to put in the local fire department. If you don't know, just make your best estimated guess as to who the most, the, who the closest fire department is. We'll just put Lansing. The plan review type that you'd like, we're going to put in construction plans and specs. So in this one, this is a, a common occurrence, you only want to put in one type of plan review per application. Otherwise, it's going to generate unnecessary fees that you're going to have to pay, and we don't want that. So for this one, we're going to put construction plans and specs. Um, also, to point out the modification request, that is only if you want to modify a current rule or code. So if it's just an addendum to a construction plans and specs, you just want to click addendum. You don't want to click anything else. Um, so then we scroll down. The, the, the square footage of the building addition, all that, you can fill it out if you'd like. It's not really pertinent or required. Um, I know that some of the plan in, or the inspectors, I'm sorry, like this type of information, but you really don't have to put it in if you don't know it. And then since I chose paper check for the method of payment in previous screen, it's going to continue on like that. So continue the application. So now that it's asked what type of facility, it gives me the total fee. I probably should have mentioned that any type of HFA, nursing home, AFC, does not require a review inspection fee. So if you go through the application process and it gives you a total fee of zero, that is why. If your facility is a nursing home, AFC, or HFA, there's no, um, there's no fee for the review or inspection. So do that, then we continue application. And this is where we download our drawings. And here we have some helpful hints. We do ask that all PDFs are flattened so there's no layers or comments. And also black and white is preferred but not necessarily required. And then, let's see, we read all that. And then you click Add at the bottom. And we'll just, just upload that. And then it's 100% uploaded. You click continue, and they'll ask what type 
it is, if it's an addendum, if it's plans, if it's miscellaneous. We'll put miscellaneous since this is just an application. And then you want to click save. And it'll let you know if it was successfully uploaded or if it was unsuccessful. And then it'll let you know down here the name of it, what type, when it was updated, and all that good stuff. So continue the application. And it gives you the review page again to where it gives you everything. So I want to double and triple check that it's all correct. And then I'll tell you to continue to payment or if you want to view well if you want to go back and view it again just hit view I'll do that continue application it'll take you to continue to payment So depending on how you plan on paying for it, like it'll tell you it's been successfully received. And then at the bottom it says if you selected paper check, you can print the summary invoice page and mail a copy with the check. So that would be right here. Oh, there's actually two buttons right here and right here. So you can print that or click that. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So then this is what's going to come up when you click that summary invoice button. And this is what you can send in along with your paper check. So that way we know the project number and the amount and all that good stuff. So we can go ahead and click out of that one. So with that being said, this is the number right here that you would want to reference if you need to call or email about a status update or anything of that nature. So let's fast forward just a scotch and say that you received a notification via email that says that your plan review is incomplete, which nine times out of 10, that usually means that your drawings are either on their side or they have some type of layering or comments. Most of the time it ends up being the engineer architect stamped signature that doesn't come off here nor there. So when you want to see what those comments are, why it's incomplete, you would go back into, we'll just go back into plan review. So you'd log into Excella and hit plan review and go into, it'll bring up your records. You always want to click on the blue BFS number. The this PR number, it's more of a placeholder. We kind of just ignore it. So I would ignore it if I were you as well. Don't upload anything to it because we don't look at that. So you, you would click on the BFS number. There's a drop down menu under record info. And under processing status right here. If this were marked as incomplete, where it says application submittal, you would click this and then it would say marked as incomplete on, you know, today's date. So 2-6-2019 by probably myself. So it'll say like Andrea Perky. So then it'll have a plus symbol right here and you click that and then it'll tell you the comments as to why it was marked incomplete. So that way you can take care of that. And then if you need to re-upload documents, all you have to do is click on record info again when you're ready and click on documents and just hit add and re-upload those documents. Easy peasy.